Hi and welcome to Essential Lightroom. We've just released the Teal and Orange Toolkit Preset Pack for Lightroom and I want to take you through and show you just some of the presets that are available in this incredibly powerful toolkit. So I'm going to show you just some of the combinations you can use to get some really great looking images in Lightroom. So once you download and install the Teal and Orange Toolkit, you're going to get a whole range of different presets. Now if we take a look at this menu, you can see we've got some indented and some on their own. The indentation denotes an additional effect you can stack on top of the base effects. So if we take a look, we've got the teal and orange 70, 70, 80, 80, 90, 90 and so on. We've got dark and moody, dark and moody desaturated and some other ones on there. The names are pretty self-explanatory. We've got the 70, 70, 80, 80 and so on. This is the combination or the amount of the teal and orange used in this particular preset. So we can choose the teal and orange 70, 70 and that's going to give you a nice effect and if we open up the camera calibration setting, you can see this is where the 70-70 comes from. We've got plus 70 in the orange, minus 70 in the hue for the blue primary. Again, if we do the 80-80, you can see that now adjusts it to minus and plus 80 and so on. So you can use any of those four teal and orange presets to give you a great starting point. If you want to have a little bit more, you've got the dark and moody, the desaturated, saturated, the super punchy and vibrant. They have additional parameters set up in there to give you a different look. So for example, we do the teal and orange, dark and moody. That gives you a much darker, more moody looking image, crushed blacks with a nice hint of teal and orange in the back just to give it that real nice effect. We can do the same then, we can give it a bit more saturation, so we'll just reset that back. So we start off with the clean image, and we'll do the saturated version. So you can see it gives it the same style of effect, slightly less crushed blacks, a bit more color in there. Let's go for the super punchy. You can see that really pushes both the teal and the orange, as well as giving you a nice moody looking image. So if we undo those, let's go back to start off with the teal and orange 8080. So we can click on that. That gives us a starting point. Now we can use any of these indented presets to stack on top of this teal and orange 8080. So we may say we want to have that nice teal and orange look, but we want to apply a soft glow to it. We can click on that. That softens the image down. If we want a little bit more of that soft glow, we can simply choose the soft glow too. That applies a little bit more softening to it. Now, as with all of these presets, they're totally non-destructive, so you can easily come in and adjust anything inside your image to get a great result just using these as a starting point. So let's just say, for example, we wanted to apply even more soft glow. We can come over in the Develop module of the Basics panel, and we can grab the Clarity slider, and we can bring that down even further to build up and create much more of a soft glow effect. So let's just reset that back to a starting point. And let's say, let's go for a nice teal and orange 100-100. So that's given a nice boost of teal and orange. If we take a look at the basics panel, you can see nothing is set in there. However, if we come down and say we want to do something along the lines of mid-tone boost and so on, we can click on that. That gives us a nice contrast boost. And if we open up the tone curve, we can go in and do things like take it and create a black crusher. So that now applies an additional setting inside the tone curve. And you can see we can build that up. So we've got a really great way of working with this, building up a whole range of different presets together to create a really great looking effect. So that's just with one image. Let's take a different example now and see how we can use these presets as a great starting point to create really great looking teal and orange images. So to start off with, I want to desaturate this image. So we're going to come down and we're going to say, let's just choose the desaturated dark and moody. Click on that, you can see that darkens everything down brings in some lovely teal into those shadows, brings a little bit of warmth into the dog's coat, into the highlights we get a slight tint of orange. Because we've desaturated, we're not getting any overpowering effects. So that's a pretty good starting point. Next up, let's go and take a look at doing something like a contrast boost so we can really make the shadows stand out in this. Let's try the contrast boost. Again, looking pretty cool. Accentuates those tones in the shadows. Let's just say I want to add a little bit of warmth to the overall image as well. So let's just click on the added warmth one. You can see that kind of gives it a bit of a retro look. If I don't like that, I can simply undo it and we can say added warmth two. And again, that gives us an even more retro warm looking image. So we'll undo that. Now let's come down and say we want to have a nice mid-tone boost. 
click on there and you can see that now flattens the image down a little bit so we've got a great starting point but we can easily go in and continue to edit this just by going into the basics panel and you can see where we could easily go into this now and say we want to pull those highlights down a little bit so we don't lose any detail we're going to bring the blacks down a little bit so we can get a nice bit of contrast in there and we'll bump the whites up to get some real stark contrast in the overall white to dark areas in the image we can, if you want to, open the tone curve and we can easily go in and start adding extra points to this to override anything that's been done with the preset. So we can easily come in, click, add some extra points in there and start adjusting this to get exactly what we want from our image. Every image has got its own characteristics, so every image has the option to go in and create even more variations just by making some simple edits. You can see we've gone in, tweaked three or four sliders, added a couple of points to the tone curve, and we now have a completely different looking image. So this is where we started off. And this is where we are now. So you can see with the Teal and Orange Toolkit, it's very easy to start off with a simple looking image and build up some of the presets and then go in and tweak it should you need to. Obviously, you don't have to tweak anything. You can simply build up using the Teal and Orange Toolkit on its own. So let's take a look at one more example before I wrap this video up. So this is one of those images that makes the Teal and Orange Toolkit so great to work with when you want to create a really great looking fall or autumn looking image. So this is a nice shot. You can see we've got the scope to add some really nice colors into this original image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use nothing but the Teal and Orange Toolkit and show you how easy it is to create a really good looking vibrant autumn looking image. So we've got the option to go super punchy or vibrant or saturated. So let's take a look at those each to see what they kind of give us to start off with. So we'll say, let's go for the saturated. That looks okay. Let's try super punchy. Now that's what I kind of want. So let's undo that. Let's take a look at vibrant. Kind of nice happy medium there, but I want to go for the super punchy. So we're going to go super punchy to give some real power in there. And I want to take the blacks in this image and I want to really crush those down a little bit. So let's come down and say, let's go for the teal and orange black crusher one. Once you do that, you can see we crush those blacks down and we get a really great looking flat image that kind of works really well with Instagram. And that's just two simple presets, the super punchy and then just stack it on top of that, the blacks crusher. So that's the teal and orange toolkit. Hopefully you'll find if you purchase this, that it's going to give you a great range of different options to create really good looking teal and orange based images in Lightroom. So that's just a brief overview of some of the things you can do with the Essential Lightroom Teal and Orange Toolkit preset pack that's available now on special offer on the website. The link is in the description below, so if you think this is a great looking plugin pack, please pop over there, help support the channel and everything we do by purchasing that Teal and Orange Toolkit preset pack for Lightroom. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you like the channel and you like the presets we offer, the free ones and the commercial ones, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content added every single week.